Hello guys, welcome to Python program video series. Today we are going to see how to count the number of vowels in string. So let's start with the program writing. First of all, we will take an input from user. str is equal to input string input. Enter the string. Okay. And this input we are storing in str variable. Okay, and this program we will write with the help of function. So let's call the function here. I will keep the function name as vowel underscore cnt. Cnt means count and we will pass the string to it. So let's declare the function. Define vowel underscore cnt and str first of all we will take one variable cnt means count and we will declare it as 0 first of all we will declare it as 0 initial value what we will do so as we know the vowels are a e i o u so first of all we have to create one set of that so that we can compare our string with that set so let me declare another variable name as vowel only and we will create one set we will create a set of small a e i o u and then capital a e i o u so what will happen here whether the string has capital or small vowel it will count okay so we have created one set so what set function basically is set function creates a set object so this is inbuilt function of python which create the set object okay and then now we have to check the complete string which user has entered and we have to count the number of vowels so for that we'll take one for loop for character in string so what will happen here in this for loop it will check all the string letters means till the length of string it will iterate suppose the length of string is 5 so it will iterate for 5 times and it will take each letter each time okay and here we will check if the string letter means character is in vowel or not if if our letter which is in string is in vowel or not so what is vowel vowel is a set of a e i o u small and a e i o u capital okay so it will check each and every character in this set if it is present in this set then it will increase the count so what we will do here, we will increase the count by 1. Okay. And we will not write any else part because in else we do not have to increase the count. Because we have to just count the number of vowels, right. So that's why we are not mentioning any else part. When the for loop ends, we will simply return the value. We can simply return the value also or else we can print the result here itself. So let's print the result here itself. We will not return any value to in this program. We will directly print the result here. So number of vowels in string. what we have to print we have to print cnt so in this program what we are doing first of all we have taken the input from user and then we have called the function and we have declared one variable which is a zero value first of all and we have created one set of vowels small letter vowels and capital letter vowels and then we are checking each and every character in string and this loop will iterate till the length of string and if that character is present in this set of vowels then it will increase the count otherwise it will skip 
so what this for loop will do suppose i i have enter anything like uh, suppose i enter beautiful we can take an example beautiful okay so here first of all b will check then again it will iterate then e then again it will iterate then a so like this it will iterate till length of string so let's run the program so enter any string we will enter beautiful only beautiful so you can see here it has given the number of vowels in string 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so there are 5 vowels enter any other another string you can enter boy you can see here only one vowel is there that is o okay hope you understood the logic of this program thank you for watching this video please like share to this video and subscribe to this channel we'll see you in next video thank you